Hello everyone, this is Video Master Niranjan Navalgun for chess.com and today I am going to give you four positions all taken from the Olympiad event. And the four positions are as follows. All positions are black to move. You can pause the video here, take a moment to solve the position on your own. Now I am going to go into each of these positions in detail and also explain how I usually attempt these positions. Okay, so in any tactical positions like this or when you are solving tactics in general, I think it's good to consider this acronym CCTP. C stands for checks, other C stands for captures, T stands for threats and P stands for pawn breaks. So this pawn break is an addition from Grandmaster R.B. Ramesh. So this is something you could consider whenever you are solving positions. So now I am going to the first position. So This is also uh, the game of the day on day one. I did cover it uh, on the first day. So let's use CCTP here. Knight f4 is a check and then Queen s3 is a check. There is also Knight into g3 as a capture. And uh, are there any threats? Maybe Queen g2, Queen f2, Queen g1, Queen h1. All these moves can be considered as threats but we must also remember that white is threatening to capture the rook. So that means our moves should be, our move should be forcing. So starting with the checks, if you play knight f4 check, white can just capture the knight and then I don't see any check. So we can just reject that line. When you play knight into g3 check, the king has no square, the pawn has to capture the knight and after that do we have any checks? We have queen h3, we have queen h1 and then you see that's the answer. So after knight g3, hg3, there is queen h1 and after bishop h3, you can take queen takes h3 and that's a checkmate. If you have solved this position very good. Let's go on to the next position. So his position number two, this is black to move. Are there any checks for black? The king is too far away so there are no checks. Are there any captures? Yes, I see a capture. There is knight into c4 and I think that's about it. Are there any threats? Yes, you can play g5 to attack the queen. Are there any pawn breaks? Yes, there is b5 which is also a good candidate I think. Now when we have the list of candidates, let's consider. If we take knight into c4, the queen can capture on c4 and after that do we have any checks? No. Do we have any captures? There is rook into e2 but after that white queen just captures the knight. So after knight c4, queen c4, do we have any threats? There is a threat to attack the queen and then after bishop b5 you see. You regain the piece and uh, black has won a pawn because after queen d4 you can uh, capture on e2 and black wins materials. So that's the answer to the second position. Let's go on to the third one. This is game between Servinos uh, and Harika. So here let's apply CCTP. Rook takes e2 is a capture, queen g3 is a check, queen g2 is a check, rook into e2 is also a check but none of them work. You can see that uh, we can discard queen g3 and queen g2 and uh, rook into e2 is met by rook into e2 when there is no further follow up. So are there any threats? One thing is clear, this is a pinned piece and uh, we must apply more pressure on the e2 point and it would be great if we can somehow use the queen to put more pressure on uh, e2. So now let's consider if there is any pawn break. In this position there is one pawn break c5 but the idea of pawn break is not pawn break in itself but it's to bring the queen into the game to attack e2. So there is c5 which is played by Harika and after dc5 there is queen a6 a very deadly pin which collects the piece and uh, here her opponent designed. Let's say after c5 white wants to play queen c1 to play queen d1 then black can play this aggressive queen d3 ensuring that black wins a piece because if you play queen d1 you can just take queen d1 and then the e2 drops. So again here pawn break helps us and uh, this theme of playing c5 is to clear the way for the queen to come to a6. I think it was a very nice uh, way to play in this position. Of course, apart from c5 there are many different moves in this position but c5 is the quickest way to victory. 
Okay, let's go to the fourth position. So this fourth position is a game between Vogel Roven and Nihal Sarin and uh, here players had already repeated twice and uh, Nihal played Rook B8 and the game ended in a draw. But this is a good position uh, as part of your training. It's black to play and win. Can you find the only move that wins for black? You can see that the B3 pawn is on the verge of promoting but the problem is that there is a queen g6 queen e8 perpetual for example if black plays b2 there is this check and then there's this check and it's going to be a draw by perpetual so here let's apply cctp knight e3 check is met by fe3 so it's not going to work knight f4 check is met by queen f4 or gf4 again it's not going to work because there is always this check queen g6 threat so we have to threaten in this position so can we threaten b2 by defending g6 yes there's one candidate move knight e7 but what happens if he takes queen takes e7 can we then threaten to promote and on b2 what if he plays queen e8 or queen f7 to play queen g6 yes we have b1 queen which guards this diagonal and that also includes g6 square so there is no longer perpetual the winning move here is knight e7 okay so i hope you enjoyed uh, all the four positions that i showed you and uh, not just here try applying uh, these uh, these four things in your games see if checks captures threats and pawn breaks uh, are able to help you win some tactical games and uh, we also have this uh, giveaway contest on twitter so please go to chess.com india's uh, twitter profile and uh, uh, be a part of the giveaway you can also download all the games played by the Indian Stars from the Olympiad. There's a link in the description from where you can download all the games in PGN. Thank you.